Hello, good evening. This is Daryl Spears with EliteConversations.com, and we're here to share information with you. And I am so happy to have Mr. Terrence, or Chef Terrence Williams, the owner of Two Fish and Five Loaves BBQ, also personal chef that's doing some great things in the DMV. Um, before we get started, I want to let you know that I am with EliteConversations.com. You can always go there to find information about our services as well as find other great videos where we have experts like uh, Terrence here to provide information, resources, and knowledge to you. So thank you, sir, for being on the show with us. Thank Appreciate you, sir, for you. having me. Excellent. You're doing some great things, man. I've tried your food, excellent food. Um, we've had the opportunity to meet at the, some of my events and individuals that you are actually uh, supporting. And you're doing a lot in terms of catering and events and share a little bit about uh, Two Fish and Five Loaves and just what you're doing in the community and tell us about your services. Okay, well thanks again for having me mm -hmm. on, Daryl. And um, Two Fish and Five Loaves started um, from my mother's catering company um, that wow. she you know, so I grew up around catering. Runs in the family. Runs in the family, <laughs> helping her, you know, doing her catering thing. Okay. Uh, so she pretty much, not get, she didn't give it up, but she doesn't do it as much. Mm -hmm. So I was wrecking my brain for about three months just trying to come up with a name. Wow. And then it just hit me. Two fish or five loaves. That was my mother's catering company's names. So wow. I just added the BBQ. There you go. <laughs> on to the end of it, you know. Growing up in Pentecostal church, we was always in church. Oh, all yeah. Day. <laughs> all day. <laughs> all day. Six days a week. Now, you know, she wants royalties from the name. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, mom deserved oh, that. Oh, man. She you was know, just, she, they, I just they get whatever event. they want. I just did a big event uh, this past weekend in Waldorf, and she came down. Oh, wow. Uh, from Pennsylvania. Um, and she, she just jumped right in like... <laughs> It like, she's uh, in the blood, man. Yeah, you <laughs> like know. it was nothing. You no know, bossing me around. I'm like, oh. <laughs> wow. But um, I, think the, I thank God for her and um, just having the vision to be able to start the catering company. That's excellent. So what's your span of, of cuisines and dishes that you provide? Can you do everything, yeah, anything? I, mean, I would say um, I'm pretty versatile when it comes mm -hmm. to certain dishes. Um, if you... If you back me in the corner and say, what do you do? Okay. I would say um, barbecue and soul food, but I've done brunches, I've done other ethnic foods, Okay. Um, Caribbean, um, other ethnic foods. So I'm pretty versatile when it comes to different dishes. Okay, excellent. Um, now how do you sort of balance? You, I know you have personal chef as well, so yeah. you can do corporations yeah, as well we as in home. Yeah, we can do private dinner parties private in home. Private dinner parties, okay. Um, right now we just started doing some food and wine pairing parties. Okay. Where I come in, um, bring in a, a, a certified wine sommelier okay. to pair foods. All right. I actually cook the food right there in front of you. Wow. And, uh, you know, engage, engage everybody together to help out with the cooking and stuff like that. And we're about to start offering cooking classes as well. Oh, man. That's excellent. I might need to get in that class oh, yeah. myself. <laughs> so um, in terms of events, what are the sizes of events that you can support? Um, I, right. The biggest <coughs> event I've done so far was 300 people. Okay. Um, last summer, or in the last summer, I did Home Depot's um, Employee Appreciation Cookout. Wow. So that was about 250, 300 people. Um, so right at that, you know, that was my largest to, to date. But... Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm open to bigger and bigger bigger events. Um, right. I can handle it. If I need to bring on some more people, they need to bring on to some bring more some people. people. Exactly. So I'm, you know, any, any, no no events too big or small for two fish five loaves barbecue. Okay, excellent. And in terms of the events, um, can you provide the services as well? So not only the food, but have people serve. Oh, absolutely. We actually bring it on our own vendors. So we provide DJ. If you need a DJ. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, mobile bars. Um, event planners okay. um, up under our umbrella. Mm -hmm. So you can get the full scale services right from, from Two Fish and Five Loaves Barbecue. Oh man, that's awesome. And you were sharing with me too, man. You guys are getting ready to launch a new product. Share a little right. bit about what is it? So uh, nine it, wine. <laughs> wine <laughs> and dine. Dine or nine. Or nine. I like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Wine and the dine, dine or nine. nine. Yes, I collaborate with Mr. Harvey Johnson mm -hmm. of City Golf Adventures okay. and Miss Gwen Hurt. Um, African American young lady who has her own wine. Gotcha. Um, so we all came together to to, the, to to create the wine Dine on Nine. It's pretty much a nice um, food and wine entertainment 
collaboration. Wow. That's, that's all I'm going to give out right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, but is it ready? You guys are it's taking ready. orders Yeah, now, we're taking orders. Um, they, can, <coughs> they can hit us up either at twofishfilosbarbecue.com or at citygolfadventures.com or shoecrazywine.com. Wow. So they can go out and order that now. Yep, yep. That is awesome, man. That is it's truly awesome. So, again, I always like to share with business owners, you know, that are aspiring to do certain things and just share with some of those, you know, might be kids or whoever in mm -hmm. culinary school, what does it take to be a chef and a good chef to, to get out there? Well, How hard is that? It's, it's not hard. Yeah, no, it's competitive. It, it, yeah, it's very competitive. Um, you have to be very confident in yourself mm -hmm. and in your skills. Um, like I tell people all the time, all good chefs aren't, school chefs okay. you, know, you don't have to go to school to be a great chef there's a lot of chefs that aren't that don't don't have the culinary background gotcha. but their food is excellent like myself absolutely <laughs> i can attest to that you know what yeah, i mean yeah. i don't have no culinary um background except for a catering mom who had a catering company that can cook good and just being around you know good food but just you know it's a leap of faith take the if you, if you have believe in yourself just go ahead and take the leap of faith and do it mm-hmm you know, I've, I've been in IT for going on 15 years. Okay. Um, so I still do that. Mm -hmm. But the food, um, you have to be passionate about what you're doing. What you're doing. Yep. And I'm very passionate about the food. Yeah, and, and you can tell. And even when, you, when you eat the food, when you try the food, you can tell that you put yeah. a lot into it. And mm -hmm. you're not just trying to push it out there to mm -hmm. make some extra money. It don't make money. sense to do that, you know, when it's... it's that's mm -hmm. that's your brand. Mm -hmm. That's what people are going to talk about. I want people to talk about the food in a good way, you know, not just the presentation that the food tastes good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely, so, so. absolutely. So where can folks find you? I know you do you do your weekly thing on the Renee Allen yep, Friends Renee show. Allen, the Renee, Renee Allen, Allen show. Out. Yep, Renee <laughs> Allen, my girl Renee Allen, the Renee Allen show on WLVS every every Wednesday at seven o'clock. Excellent. And then. Um, the number two, fish. The number five, Lowe's, bbq.com. Okay. 301 um, what's my number? 301 263 mm -hmm. 7344. Or they can catch me on um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at 2 fish 5 Lowe's bbq Excellent, excellent. So, what's your schedule like right now? Is it pretty? Um, yeah, it's open? pretty. Um, April's pretty much, you know, crazy. Um, May, graduations, cookouts. Um, I mean, I, I got all kind of stuff going on. I mean, I have a funeral. I, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have um, birthday parties, um, business, you know, trade shows. Uh, we also do gourmet box lunches. So okay. if you have an expo or you have a, a, a workshop. That's you great. Right. If you don't want to, you know, do something that's catered, we can put together a nice box and people can just grab it and go. And that's important to know, especially for those out there that are... Um, <coughs> Doing corporate events or mm -hmm. something where you need, you know, something fifty quick. to a hundred yep. buck boxes quick. Um, that's that brings a lot of value to people. Right, you know, right. so sometimes folks don't have a chance to sit down to eat, but they can mm -hmm. take a break and have a quick thirty, thirty, forty-five five minutes. minute lunch and yep. get back to and get back to their to whatever they're doing. Excellent. Well, this has been excellent. Again, we're talking to Chef Terrence Williams of Two Fish and Five Loaves BBQ. He is also a personal chef. You can find him. He's giving you the information. Um, he's in the DMV, so if you're doing events, if you need some great food, I mm -hmm. can tell you, it's some good food, man. You can definitely give him a call. Check him out on his website, and he will definitely take care of you. This is Daryl Spears. Again, I'm with theconversations.com. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for always supporting us, and we'll talk to you again soon. Take care. <laughs>